Yo, 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 it's in the old podcast and your boy Young Truth is missing. What up, what up? It's your boy Brandon. What up, what up? It's your boy Mike Free. Hey, first off, thank you for rocking with us one more week. Um, subscribe to us from wherever you're watching or listening. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. What's the new one? Twitch. Twitch. Twitch, baby. Um, as always, you could contact us by emailing us if you want to give us a bag, any old podcast at gmail.com. Yes, sir. And as always, shout out to all the subscribers. If this is your first time watching, you have not subscribed. Go hit that little button down there, turn the little notification bell on, bing, and come follow us. Follow, come follow us, son. Come follow us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, truth is still under the under the weather. Under the weather. So he's not with us today. So we're going we're going to run through some topics. First of all, if I want to I actually want to thank everybody who showed up for our live the other day or well, yesterday. Mm-hmm. Well, when you're listening to this, it'll be the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we went live for the first time. A lot of people showed up for us. Had some good conversation in the comments. Had a few people who supporters come on. Sir, it was yes, just a, it was just ill. It was just it was just yes. ill. Yes, indeed, indeed. Yes. Yeah. Um. So shout out to you guys. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. Appreciate it. We're gonna that, we're gonna, fi- we're gonna um, do it weekly. We're gonna figure out a schedule when we can do it, and then we're gonna jump on there. Um. When something major happens, we'll jump on live and chat about it. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. How was your your week, Mike? Well, week was cool. Um, I got my notification of graduation August thirty first. Hey, August thirty first is official. I gotta wait six to eight weeks to get my diploma, though. You know how that go. You gotta, yeah. But I graduate August thirty first. So my bachelor's business management. Trying to take this thing to another level, man. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> Hard roll, baby. Hard roll, man. But we made it. We bike. <laughs> yeah, that's that's facts. <laughs> Yo, so what if the heck is going on this this week in uh in 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 the world? I guess I don't know. I know it's a lot of uh, Lizzo talk going around. <sighs> Good old Lizzo. What you think? What you think about Lizzo? Shout out to Lizzo, yo. Let's shout her out yeah, before. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Before we before we put our opinions out there. We don't <laughs> want nobody crying on uh oh, man. on live. Subliminal. Um I understand she's human and all that, you know what I'm saying? But why talk about all the negatives when I'm sure the positives outweigh the negative stuff people say? Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? All, I'm, I'm sure it's 10 million comments positive. And that 10 million and one that's negative, zoom right into that, and then that, that'd be the focus. Yeah, so, I think it's um it might be just what you see. If you see if you constantly seeing positive, you don't even see it no more, actually. You know what I'm saying? If you it's like if you had all sunny days, the sun don't matter at that point because you don't you don't got no cloudy days, you ain't got no rainy days, you ain't got no nights, you know what I'm saying? If it was just sun, it'd just be sun. But since it's all sun for her, the little, the little, the little jabs and the, all the all the negative stuff is like extra big to her, you know. Yeah, yeah, but she she probably overwhelmed, overworked, you know what I'm saying. But my thing is, um, the, you know, the crying, the crying online, man. I just don't get it. I don't get that. Don't get that that's that's one thing I just don't understand. You get online, you crying into the camera. For I, don't, 
for what? You know what I'm saying? Go cry. Go where your friends at? Yeah, where are your friends at? Where you? Where your? Where your mom at? Where your? Where your? Where your dad? Your sister? Yeah, where your Somebody. circle? Your inner circle? Yeah, call them up. Y'all have a little powwow. Let it all out. Go hit the studio. Make a hit about it. Call Missy. Yo, da 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 da. Handle that. <laughs> And Missy got you, and it's it's guaranteed hit style. You know what I'm saying? So, and you and you and she and she act like she she's not affected by it in the music though. If you listen to the music, she's like not affected by it, and then that that music that song go crazy, and then you then you are affected by it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's happening anymore. But you know. No. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Shout out to Lizzo. I lost my top. Yo, oh, what's in the Day Chappelle versus Damon Wayans? What you who you got? Oh, that's a that's a no brainer for me. Now that's only okay. All right, this I mean I'm 37 years old, right? 37 years old, right? So I grew up. In the beginning of Autumn Wayne's stuff, the Wayne's Before era in Living Colors, mm-hmm. Major Pains when it first came out, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mo Money first came out, you know what I'm saying? All those Wayne's features, I was around, I seen the growth, I seen it all. And Damon Wayne's is a genius when it comes to making people laugh. Like, if, if you think about it, Charlemagne said it, shout out to Charlemagne. He's, he, he made a good point that Damon Wayans pretty much had pretty much, I say, the best comedic, um, not roles, but characters. Yeah. His day, you had the bum who always wilding. If you watch a different color, you know. Yeah. One half of men on film. Hated mm-hmm. it. Fire. <laughs> the dude in jail who always preaching, talking that philosophical junk if if you know you know and live in color um the um hand, handyman handyman <laughs> if you know you know of course yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it'll fly in this era but damon wayans was a genius man he he was too funny he was like natural funny you know what i'm saying and i got him watching dave Chappelle, to be honest watching him watching him Yo, know, my my mind went to how would they do it? Like, what does that look that like? Too. That too, that too. And they how just would play? You do a versus like, would they just play movie? Like, that's what I was, that's what I was thinking. Would they just have a screen and they play like clips? You know what I'm saying? I don't know how they would I do. Mean, it. They're not about to do a standoff. No, no, that's not about to happen. Now they're not getting no big money. Swiss Timbo. Yeah, yeah, maybe y'all trying, to, y'all trying to come out with that bread because they're not cheap. So <laughs> they figure out how to do that. That that'd be fire. I think they would play like little clips, little clips of the like a you know clips of like major pain or something like that. Real funny part. I still got uh, the and and that's why I got them watching them, man. Like you can't come on, man. You can't deny it, man. It's too. You can't. He, he yeah. He too that's, ill. And man. that's just one movie. He killed Dave Chappelle with um my wife and kids clips. Ooh, I was about to say that that's underrated. That's what I'm trying to say. Super underrated show. What? Yeah. My wife and kids clips. <laughs> my wash. <laughs> my wash. Uh, Dave Chappelle. By itself. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You got you got different different sections of that. You got the interactions between Dave Damon Wayans and Junior. Mm-hmm. They jokes back and forth, crazy. Oh, that got <laughs> too stupid because Junior's uh, too slow. Too slow. Then him and him and his wife. Oh yeah, and... you know that's classic. <laughs> Yo, yeah, he I got, got Damon much. Wayans. I Damon got, Wayans. I got, I got Damon Wayans. Watching Dave Chappelle. I love Dave Chappelle though, but if we got to pick, Damon Wayans watching Dave Chappelle. Well, we said it here first, so when that happens, you no. Know. Definitely. I'll post that clip. Too. Too. Um, what else? What else is happening? What you had on over there? What, what did happen? 
I don't. I know they got the Taliban stuff. I don't really want to talk about yeah, that. I, about say, I don't even want to get into that, man. That's that's too too deep. Yeah, I mean, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to go deep today. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah. Um. What else was there? Music. Um. Cassidy just dropped his disc yeah, record. His disc on Tory Lanez. And I still like it. It's been a few like days, it. and I yeah. still like it. I like. I it. thought. I thought he was going to pick the worst beat possible, <laughs> and and just bore me with the lyrics. But he picked a decent beat, and he and he kind of snapping. Tory, what you got? It's your time. I thought I, I thought Tory would have at least responded in at least two two days or less. Yo, Tory on his own time, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. We not he not on the clock. Is he on the clock? He been on the clock once. The once the, this is came out. On the he clock. He first does the people on the clock immediately. And then he's fighting. And then he shot back. And now Cassidy's shooting back. Mm. So. We're going to see, you. man. We're I feel see. you. We're going to see. All right. Well. I don't know. Shout out no, to I'm Cassidy. To what, else is, what else is going on? Hold on. I'm about to go on Twig- Twitter. We're going to run through some. Uh, Twitch, yeah. Let's talk Twitch. about it. Twitter. I'm gonna go to Twitter real quick. We run through some uh, trending topics real quick. Here we go. Let's do it. Who? Let's got? see. What you, got? what you got? Everything trending except for stuff that matters. Trending. <laughs> <laughs> Everything trending. Everything is twinning. Trending. Uh, twinning. Damn. What we got? She ain't got nothing I care about happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Trash. Nothing. Mm. What was I gonna do? Um I don't know, Mike. What you got, man? Hey, Get I got in. I got a um a subject I want to talk about. Um I was watching, you know, one of my favorite uh shows is American Horror Story, and they got uh this new like series they came out with. It's on Hulu. It's not American Horror Story. It's American Horror Stories. Yeah. Where, you know what I'm saying? Where each each joint is a whole different story. Yeah. And uh, and on one of the episodes, I think it was the first one, they were uh, asking the kids in the class, like, you know, what, what do, why people are, what, what puts fear in somebody to, like, mm-hmm. do something? And the answer that they gave, which I, I kind of agree with, is, like, the fear of shame, the fear of being shamed by your peers and people looking at you all funny and this, this, and that, instead of just doing whatever the hell you want to do. Oh, don't want to bring it to the politics. I mean, we know the politics. We know the politics. But that's what happened. Yeah. Like Even when, like, masks came, mm. it made it seem like, yo, if you ain't wearing the mask, what you doing? Mm. And they're kind of doing the same thing with vaccines. Yeah. Yo, um, if you ain't got a vaccine, yeah. you ain't got a vaccine. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I think they use shame to try to push whatever the agenda is or push you in the direction needed to, to go in. Mm-hmm. But yeah, shame is crazy. It is. It is. Shame is definitely crazy. Definitely. It's definitely big. We did, that was like high school. You ain't yeah. got Jordans on. You know what I'm saying? Your shoes ain't clean. Yo, yo, look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they shame you to death yeah. in high school. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely shame you in high school, boy. Shame you to death. Shame you all the way to death with that joint. Did you see... Um. All right, so this is, uh, this is a totally different topic. Like, I'm changing the topic right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, what we got? Did you? It's this. Uh, it's this documentary on Netflix about mushrooms and fungus and all those type of things, like mold. You ever watch it? Didn't see it, but I'm gonna be interested in because that's oh. like Discovery Channel stuff. I love shit like that. I- the yo, the way that you, the, you yo, who, who, if if you don't believe in God, then you don't believe in God. But however, this thing got created, it's just too calculated, yo. 
they was talking about how um like fungus and mold and stuff like that is at the beginning of life and at the end of life so they had like you know when the animal die or whatever eventually it started getting uh mold and you know fungus all in it but it's all getting in there so it could be fertilizer so 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 living things can grow through it mm. you feel what i'm saying mm. so it's circle like of circle of life it's it's like the beginning and the end mm. so in in the documentary they were talking about how mushrooms were what can cure like dementia and stuff like that because dementia is like the killing or the dying of uh, your brain cells and stuff like that. And the mushrooms are, you know, designed to restore, just like I said. So it's like they were using mushrooms and different, it was mainly mushrooms. It was so many different mushrooms. I didn't know. It was like they were saying some mushrooms taste like chicken when you when you make it and stuff like that. It was like tons of them. And then it was wow. then it was a, a bunch of them um that did different things medically. Mm, I and heard about um, that. I heard about that. And they were just talking about how they how because it got abused back in the 60s with, with the you know with the mushrooms and stuff with like hallucinogens and mm-hmm. stuff like that. They kind of like deaded it. Like they couldn't do no research on them or nothing for like 20 something years. And now they opened it up so they can do research and stuff like that. And they're acting like, I, well, they had somebody that had dementia and, and she was like, they just restored her back through these mushrooms and different funguses and stuff like that. What? But because it naturally does that, it natu- naturally restores. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, all this natural stuff, man. Natural. Natural stuff out here. Probably could be healing a lot of people without going to the pharmacy and stuff like that. But yeah, but I just I just thought that uh, documentary was crazy interesting. It was, it was really 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 dope. So check it out. I forget I forget the name of it. Let me figure out the name real quick. Yeah, definitely. definitely. <clears throat> they kept saying fungi too, and I and I always call it fungi. I always called it fungi, and they kept Ew. calling it fungi. Fungi. Hey, man, trust me. Until I went to Greece, mm-hmm. I didn't know that gyro was officially pronounced euro. But of course, you know how that go. Americans take shit, make it into their own. Americanize it. Yeah, it's Americanize. called Fantastic Fungi. The mushroom movie. Fantastic fungi. Yeah, that's what they they kept pronouncing it like that. So I don't know. If y'all want to kill me in the comments, go ahead. Hey, that's cool. I won't cry on camera. Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) Damn, Lizzo. That junk is crazy. Junk is crazy. Yo, man, when when is uh, Donda going to (laughs) drop? I'm not even worried about this shit. Like, I'm not. I'm not even. I mean, I'm still excited because I, I want to hear it. But it's like, I'm not gonna like. Oh, what are we what doing, are we, Kanye? What are we doing? Like, are you still making it? Like, what are you? Are you done? <laughs> like, how perfect you trying to get it? And it ain't gonna be perfect. That's and the whole thing. Like, damn, nigga, just just put it out. I don't know, man. Don, I'm kind of over. Uh, if I was I'm Drake, saying. I'd just drop it. Go ahead, man. Drop that. Uh. Certified lover boy for us. You might as well, because he's going to take over anyway. Number one after number one after number one. The whole album. Anyway. Yes. Yeah. What, 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 new, what new music are you looking forward to? Kendrick is nowhere in sight. I'm, I, if it drop, it drop. I'll I'd, I'd be excited, but I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm not. You're not looking forward to no music? You remember back in the day, we used to be like. That's the point, because we got so much music just being flooded to us. We can just hear whatever we want to hear. Literally. I'm talking yeah. about different types of different, like, you know what I mean? African music, Latin music, French music, Australian, Russian. They got all kind of junk at your fingertips. Mm. 
back, 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 you know what I'm saying? Back in our day. Back in our day, we had to saying? we had to skip eighth grade, eighth eighth period to go get an album. We had to skip eighth period. And that was, but that was yo, the fact that the fact that co op had so many periods is ridiculous, yo. Yeah, they had like how many nine? It was getting ridiculous, yo. That's when they had like nine ninth period. Him and I been out for a whole four hours. <laughs> He's still in school, still and- getting taught. For no reason, and we were getting ta- we were getting taught the stuff we wanted to at around those times. The late hours was like art stuff, yeah. so that was kind of cool. Yeah, it was like built in. Oh, this is what I wanted to talk about. Oh, All right, so Andrea, Andrea has a um, patient that um, was like the architect of schools in Connecticut. The architect. Yes. The architect. Yes, New Haven, Bridgeport, um, and I think he said like Stanford. He, he built him and his team built um majority of the public schools. He said that they use the same blueprint as the prisons in Connecticut, right? And I'm like, one that's crazy. And he was like, the doors are interchangeable. Like you can make the doors into cells easy. Like they had them so easy, so you can just change them. The door, you can the make doors. the door into cells. Yeah, like if they would, they, if they wanted to put the, you know, the cells in. Yeah. Like the, I don't know what that called. You know, the door that that's on the on the cell, but it'd be like, like that. But um, he said they had it, so you can just switch it out if you want. Then I started thinking, and now I'm like, co-op was low key looking like a prison, and Roberto especially yeah, was looking like. Yeah, now you think about it, you know what I'm saying? No, it. not even really no windows like that. Definitely co-op. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's the floors, yeah, the way the floors wild. was. And then, like when we first got there, we had to go to the other side. Like they wasn't even done building it, and the way they built the third floor, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. And yeah, uh, and and I was thinking like maybe because I'm trying to be like, yo, it's just a coincidence, right? So maybe you know it just had to be designed in a way that population could move certain ways. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know if that's the thought process. Um, cause I, you know, prisons, everybody get out of class basically. And then they got to move to the yard. Yeah. And then when we got out of class, we all go into the hallway, move to the yard, almost the same exact way. Wow. And I'm like, maybe it was because they needed the traffic to move a certain way. Maybe. But, you know, but you know, or maybe they was prepping us to be locked up. Isn't that wild? That's crazy. Yeah, he was he was kind of blowing my mind, son. I was like, oh, okay, this is wild. Wow. Yo, and the fact, yo, I'm my coachable moment today about to be just <laughs> be thankful, son. Because a lot, of, yo, I don't even want to get into it, but I'll get into it in a little bit. Yeah, get into it, man. Get into it, man. In a little bit, or what? You got a you got a one got to go. I actually don't actually. All right, so yeah, I would just want to just be thankful. That's the coachable moment today. <clears throat> um, uh, Andrea's patient. This guy is the same age as us, yo. Accident took him out. Now he paraplegic or quadriplegic, I think. I don't know what that one is. What's the quadriplegic? Quad is all for. Oh, you can't, you can't, can't move your arms or legs. <laughs> same age as us, yo. Damn. Freak accident. You know what I'm saying? When we wake up in the morning, just be thankful, man. Let that be the first thing that goes through your mind. You woke up today. Go get it. I be, you got I another say, opportunity yes, to go yes, get it. Yes. Because yes. if somebody woke up, somebody, somebody not waking up, and then it's yeah. somebody that get in a little, a little accident mm. and can't do nothing they were doing. Before they before the accident, so it's like you gotta just you know 
We just fight over the dumbest stuff. The dumbest, just, the so, dumbest so, stuff. You crying online, yo. Be thankful that you're able to make some music. Be thankful that you living in the one percent. You feel what I'm saying? I just I don't know. It's a lot of time I know we I know everybody got emotions and feelings and stuff like that, but a lot of times I'm just like, yo, know, you looking at what you don't got for no reason. So yeah, so the coachable moment is have gratitude. Get you know, just be thankful for everything that you got going on today, and that's just it, man. Because the yeah, effort, yo, that's it. Could it. Be, it could be way worse, but we ain't gonna get into that. It could be way worse. Way worse, dog. Yo, yeah. low key, low key. We hate America, but we gotta be thankful we here. You see what's going on over there? Yeah. You see what's going on over there? I go ahead if y'all want to go over there. I ain't. Niggas, n- niggas wouldn't survive for real. Huh? Niggas wouldn't survive for real if they just uh. put you over there. I'm about you just transported tomorrow. You wake up there. Yeah. How are you gonna handle that? Crazy. Oh yeah. Um. Pray for you know. Pray for Haiti. They had that uh that earthquake. I think earlier this week. Mm-hmm. Um. Hopefully, you know, if you got family out there, hopefully your family's good. Um, but yeah, that's just be thankful, man. A lot of stuff going on out here. A lot of stuff going on. That's all I got, man. Well, hey, man. Um, this is your podcast as usual. Y'all ain't fucking with us, man. So, you know, get up out of here with that. <laughs>